It's been a day of rescues in another natural disaster, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. David Begno is there. In the small town of Toa Baja, hundreds of residents were rescued by the National Guard. Most packed into trucks, while scores of others waded through two feet of water, carrying what's left of their possessions. In the San Juan suburb of Catania, residents forged through flooded streets, heading to the only open grocery store. Only five were allowed in at a time to avoid chaos. Maria inflicted damage on 80% of the homes here, and like the rest of the island, there is no power or phone service. We rode with the mayor as he surveyed the damage and watched these young men help police rescue a 91-year-old man in a kayak. Outside that man's house, his neighbors wept. His home was surrounded by chest-deep water. How are you feeling, I asked him. I'm good, thanks to the Virgin Mary, he said. It wasn't any different in Levittown, where teams went house to house rescuing the sick and elderly. At this shelter, residents nervously check makeshift lists looking for names of family members who are safe. Janice Longoria has been looking for her 77-year-old aunt since yesterday. She's an elderly person, so I don't know how it should. It's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> and for those families who were able to reconnect, <laughs> words can't describe. The governor of Puerto Rico says two-thirds of this island are a disaster zone tonight. The airport in San Juan reopened today, but only for military and emergency operations. And amid this misery, you should know we've seen resilience. As one man told us with a smile on his face, we're used to this. Anthony. David Begno, thank you, David.